Screw the haters, I don't care I might be different, I might be unaware All that matters to me is that you're always there You let me in your world and show me that you care You understand me, you let me be me You understand me, and I wanna let you know Hello, chat room. Hello. Hello, 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 hello. Hello. How are we? Happy Wednesday, Day, my dudes. Happy Wednesday. Day. Hope everyone is doing well on the Wednesday. Day. It's an Asian Wednesday now, just in case anybody was curious. Thus has been decreed. But hello, Cell. How's it going? How are you? You do, in fact, win the first Chatter Award. Don't mind me. I'm still just making some tea. We're brewing up some tea, chat room. We're brewing up some tea. It's not spicy. There's not, but it is piping. It is piping. That's for sure. But Cell, hope you're doing well. Mops, it is good to see you. Good evening. I hope all is well in your neck of the woods. Or it's Thursday. It is Thursday for our European friends. You can have. You may have Thursday before we, before we get Thursday. You are welcome. This is my gift to you, Mops. This is my gift to you. Hello, Dev. How are you? Congratulations on filing your taxes. 
I was just remarking earlier today to my students that I also need to file my taxes. And I don't think I can do the free ones anymore. I think I gotta do the fancy ones. I think I gotta do the fancy schmancy taxes. Um, and I'm the crazy person that, um, my grandfather would be so proud of me. I will absolutely have like TurboTax or H&R Block or whatever, like do my taxes, um, but then they're gonna charge me like 50 bucks to like actually click submit. But I can see, I can see what the 1040 looks like. So I just do it myself. I just calculate it myself. Like I only use them to make sure that I'm getting all of the, getting all of the things marked off. But at the end of the day, I'm just gonna do my own fucking taxes. Although I don't think I can do that anymore because I don't understand how to do certain file, certain filings. Um, so I might have to actually break down and be an adult and pay people to file my taxes, which I don't, I don't like the idea of in the first place. The government should just tell me how much I owe. And then I tell them, nah, -uh. that's how it should go. But I understand that the fi tax filing lobby is p very powerful in this country. So, buh, buh enough about that but teddy hey i see you how's it going hope you're doing well hope you're doing a okay mr teddy hope you are well which reminds me i need to do a thing thank you for reminding me teddy with your presence doing math toss one leave i know i know it's not so much the math that bothers me it's the whether or not i am doing i know what math to do that's the part that uh, that annoys me the most. That I can't, I just don't, ugh, ugh. Whatever, it's fine. At least the state of Washington, you don't have to file income tax. You just gotta pay sales tax on fucking everything, which is annoying. But I guess I'll take it. I guess that's fine, it's fine. I only have to file federal then. Um, but I know my taxes could be more complicated, so I'm not gonna worry about it, but Oh, chat room, chat room. How's everybody doing on this Wednesday slash Thursday, depending on where you are in the world? I hope everyone is doing A-OK. -okay. And if you're hanging out here and you're chatting and you're vibing, excellent. If you're just hanging out and lurking, even better. Even better. I'm still glad that you're here. And I see you. I respect you. And I appreciate that you're here. What are we doing today, chat room? What are we doing today? I'm glad nobody asked. Or everybody asked. Direction's unclear. What are we doing today? Hey, Unicorn Kitty, welcome in. It's good to see you. Welcome back. Welcome to the Cozy Vibes. What are we doing today, chat room? Today, we are doing a Sims 4 base game build. We're doing a Sims 4 base game build. Today, I've disabled all of my packs. We're doing a starter home. We got 18 grand in the bank. What'd you think about that? And we are going to go through the full process of how does Ray Ray build a house. So if you're here for the cozy vibes, I can give you the cozy vibes. If you're here to learn some build tutorials and you know, I'm not the best builder in the world, but I've done it a couple times. If you wanna learn some build, build tutorial stuff, some tips and tricks for The Sims 4, you've come to the right place. Who say, let's go. Did you count the free holiday pack as base game or DLC? DLC, I disabled everything, just the base game. Just the base game. But enjoy your lurk, Cell. Do you know, I, I once again am honored, honored when people uh, fall asleep to the stream. That means I've done the coziest of vibes. Emily, welcome in. It's good to have you here. Hope you're doing well, my friend. No worries. You were here. You've been here. You just had it muted. Will somebody go find the other people who have the stream muted so that they can know that it started? If only there was a notification setting. If only there was a notification that went out to everybody on a regular basis. that informed people when we went live. He's got sunnies. Oh, he's doing the sips. He's got a little, he's got a little juice box and the sunglasses. Oh, hell yeah, hell yeah. Trek's living large and he is in charge. Let's freaking go. Well, that's what we're doing today, chat room. I hope everyone's A-OK -okay with that. I think it's a different vibe than uh, the Dark Souls that we were doing last time. That's for, that's for gosh darn sure. How's that? Okay. We got, we got some, we got some quiet tunes. Let's get into this. 
We have our Sim here. I don't know his name. I think his name's like Hector or something like that. No, it's Levi. It's Levi Doe. Uh, we've got our Sim here. We've got ourselves. We are in the Willow Creek neighborhood. I don't, can't remember what this little what this little block is called. But you got a handful of starter homes. This is where the best friends live. This is where Summer Holiday and Travis Scott, not that Travis Scott, and Liberty Lee, they live together. They're in a bit of a love triangle. Um, I think there is one other family that lives on this block. Maybe not. It might just be them. Um, but this is an empty lot that we're going to start off with, and we're going to build ourselves a... We are going to build ourselves a starter home. Scared to Google how old The Sims 4 is? Sims 4 came out in 2014. It is a nine-year-old game. You may fall asleep, it's 2 a.m. in the morning. Yeah, no worries. No worries, Mops. If you gotta take a snooze, I understand. Do not worry, my friend, do not worry. I will still feel the love and support regardless. But enjoy your snooze if that's what you end up doing. Hmm. Piping. Yeah, the, Teddy, The Sims 4 is an ancient game. All right, chat room. First things first, we need ourselves a shell. We need ourselves a shell. The shell is referring to the outside of the home. It's the shell of the house, if you will. So I think as I have learned over my times, thanks to the wonderful Lil Simsy, every home begins as a box. How on earth did I just draw that? You could hold, you can either select the room tool and that's gonna give you a, that's gonna give you your box right then and there. Or if you are on the uh, wall tool just straight, you can hold onto, you can just hold shift if you're on a PC. I don't know the key bindings for Mac. I assume they're similar. Uh, and then that's gonna draw a room for you. You can also do a custom room tool where you could draw the shell like this if you so wanted. Um, let's do, let's actually do, let's do it like this. Cause then we can get a little bit of like a bay window going on action here. Ooh, yeah, let's do it like this. Perfect. We're gonna delete that one with, with the delete key. And when you click on a room, you can move it over and shift it over to wherever you want on the lot. Hexagon shell? We certainly could do that. We certainly could do that. I think I'm gonna embrace this as our hexagonal bit this little like alcove area here. I'm also gonna raise it up uh, so that way it has a little bit of a foundation because then that gives us the opportunity to do like a porch on the front. I'm gonna call this the front of the house. Um, gives us a little bit of, of a porch option so that way it can have a little bit more of curb appeal. So let's go ahead and get that down. In The Sims, you do have a lot of options just for like placing down rooms um, or just like flat, just flooring. Um, so that's what we'll do here. We'll place a flat square just in the front here and we'll use the arrows to sort of drag it out and around. And that will be that. And we'll just build, we will build out the porch here. Just a happy little porch. It's a happy little porch. If you're following along at home, we're just building ourselves a happy little porch. Perfect. Um, I'm not sure how I like that yet, but I think we'll, 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 we'll keep it like that for now. Actually, let's do a wrap around. Let's do a little bit of a wrap around here. So we're just gonna drag the arrows out to make the porch go wrap around the house. Perfect, okay. Then I think, let's do a second, st ooh, this is a starter home. We might not have enough money to do a second story, which I think is gonna be, should that be fine? E yes, I'm gonna hate myself for this bit here, but I think that should be fine. Lost cell service. Welcome back. Welcome back, Dev. Welcome back. All right. Let's get, we're not gonna do a second story. If we have the money, we might include a second story. Did you see the Nintendo Direct? Did I see the Nintendo Direct? I did not see. Do I want the grapes now? Yes. Yes, Joe, I would like the grapes now. I did not see the Nintendo Direct, but I saw the tweets and I've heard people's discussions about the Nintendo Direct. Joe Arm? Mayhaps. You might get a free Joe Arm. He went to the grocery store to get me snacks and he picked up grapes. 
um the nintendo direct i have no strong feelings one way or the other about anything that was released on the nintendo direct except for the breath of the wild 2 oh sorry tears of the kingdom um that was exciting to me the i'm excited for people who are excited about the like game boy uh games coming to the switch for the online memberships um i'm excited that people can have their little metroid games uh that makes me happy but i have no strong feel feelings about it is this the joe feeds ray ray grapes on stream uh now that that is a fantastic idea but the grapes are at my door hold on one sec one sec chairman chairman one sec one sec one sec one sec Wow. Hey, thank you for the follow. I appreciate it. Welcome in. My name is Toss Ray. You can call me Ray Ray. I use he, him pronouns. We are about to go into an ad, so you might be hitting with an ad break here real quick here just so that we can keep pre-rolls off. But thank you so much for the follow. I really do appreciate it. Welcome in, friend. It's good to have you. They tease older Rex and Shulk in Xenoblade 3 DLC. And while I've never played a single Xenoblade, I'm shocked they made Rex older and hot. Was he, who is Rex? And is he supposed to be hot? Or is he supposed to be like a child? Are you not excited for the Kart Wave 4? Well, see, nobody told me about the new Mario Kart tracks. I'd be excited for the tracks. My scrump. Yoshi's Island? Ooh. I'll take it. I'll take the uh, no, I'll take the uh Yoshi's Island. Y'all know how much I love Yoshi's. I do love Yoshi's. So chat, what we're doing right now is we're just putting uh we're putting a room on the top part of our roof so that way we can have uh trim around it later. Cuz the way that trim works is that you need to have a room above the first story. So what you do is you just place these like basically just floor tiles down. So now the game thinks that this is a room so you can put trim on it later. Birdo is getting added as a new character. OK, all right, we stand. Pop off Birdo. I'm also going to extend the room to actually I'm going to click on the bottom part here for the porch. This yellow trim here tells you to build the ceiling, which is perfect, but I'm actually not gonna do that quite yet because um, I need to be able to see for the roofing. Do I like this shell? Yes, I do. I'm gonna go in and actually draw out some of the rooms here now. So I think I want this area to be like, I want this whole, probably something like this. Okay, so this is gonna be a kitchen. I'm gonna call this a bedroom, and I'm just pressing B uh, to bring up the build, like the wall building tool. Uh, they confirmed that the last two waves will also be getting characters as well. Pauline still has a chance. I don't know if, well, ah, you know what? I bet Pauline will be included. Shawnee, you've gotten pre-rolls the last times that you've popped by. Hmm. Hmm. So Metroid, huh, guys? Uh, yeah. Well, I mean, what do y'all... As somebody who doesn't know anything about Metroid, what do we think? What do we think? Is this a good thing? Are the, are the cool, like, are all the cool kids excited about these Metroid things? What is the Metroid news? Dev, are you telling me that you modded your Switch? Thank you all for saying after the ad break. Welcome back. It's good to have you here. For me, I'm so excited because I love that game. So Metroid, A+. Got it. Pauline can't even fit her legs into those cars. 
It's true. She's got legs for days. She's like the uh, mayor's assistant from Powerpuff Girls. All right. We're going to call that a bathroom. We're going to call this a bathroom. We're, all right, so kitchen, dining, living room. We'll put a computer in here. Bedroom, bath. All right, so one bedroom, one bath. Let's go. And it's 40 bucks, not 60, uh, which I think 40 is appropriate. Maybe. Her name is Miss Bellum? Oh, right, Blossom is the is the girl. Miss Bellum. Why do I think her name's Blossom? I think her name's Bosom. That's that's what I think. Rosalina is like 10 feet tall. Is she? Is she canonically 10 feet tall? Address the real mayor properly. It's true, she is the real mayor. Um Yeah, okay, so that shell works. Do 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 I'm actually gonna scoot the house back on the lot a little bit too. Done. All right. Back to building. <laughs> oh, hi. Oh, yeah, don't worry, Zach. I'm just I'm just hanging out. Listen, Zach, I understand. I'm just here. I'm the pretty face on the screen so y'all can talk to your friends. I get it. I know where my place is. It's good to see you, Zach. Hope you're doing well. Bup. Bup. Bup, bup. Bup. I don't know how tall Rosa is, but I feel like she's taller than Pauline. Who's to say? Smash might be messing with me, though. Fair. I don't know. I do not know how tall these women are. <sighs> okay, chat room. It's time. It's time to put a roof on this on this sucker. Best pro tip for roofing. Find the longest section Find the longest section, and that is which way your your full gabled roof is gonna go. So it's gonna start, it's gonna look like that. Then for this back bit here, we're gonna rotate the roof piece using our carrot keys, drag it out. The roofing in The Sims 4 is honestly the easiest. We're gonna drag that down so that way it can just sort of disappear and fade into the roof structure right here. Gamers, get out your notebook. I know we talked about this the other day, but we're about to, I'm about to blow your freaking minds. So now that we've got the roof up, you might notice that there's this little hangly diggly bit right here. That's right, I said hangly diggly bit right there. Here's how you fix that so that it doesn't look as bad. You're gonna take your roof piece. You're gonna drag it back so that it only has the tiles up to where it's flesh with the other part, the other roof that you're gonna then blend this roof piece into. You're gonna hold shift and you're gonna grab the small carrot key and you're gonna drag back this overhang. Shift allows you to edit one side of the overhang. If you hold, if you don't hold down shift, it'll edit both sides of it. If you hold down shift, it edits just the one side. Copy your roof piece, paste it so that it looks like it's flesh with the uh, piece that you just copied it from and where you're going to blend the roof piece into. Make sure that you drag your roof piece in. And then with this copied piece that you just created, click the click the overhang arrow and drag up. And there you go. So now you've got a oh, actually, uh, so we've addressed the overhang here you're gonna see a little bit of an overhang right through here where the two pieces meet that you can't fix that is just how it has to be if you look on real homes that's how it is so that's great but you might notice ray ray there's this little tiny bit that's focused right here that's okay what we're gonna do is we're just gonna take the arrow uh we're gonna take the roof drag it down one one click and we'll drag down both pieces one click so that there's still the same height and now your roof is flawless. There you go. Cool. 
All right. Let's do the porch because I'm avoiding I'm avoiding this the uh, octagonal bit right now because um, it scares me. I'm gonna just avoid that. I'm gonna avoid the octagonal bit. Oh, this is gonna be great. We're gonna be able to do a corner piece too. This is where I'm actually gonna build up the ceiling over the porch. Uh, not the full ceiling though, actually. Nope, I am. I am gonna build the full ceiling, okay. We're gonna take the half gabled roof and that's gonna be our long sides here. And we're gonna bring it to the corner and we're gonna drag this down so that it uh, blends into the main part of the roof. And we're gonna hold down shift and get rid of that overhang. We're gonna do the same thing on the back side of the house. So I just copied this roof piece. And for this, I'm gonna do this. I love Dan's emotes. Me too. I will see, I will see Dan G like post on Twitter. I'll see his emotes. Um, yeah, I'll see his emotes like elsewhere on Twitch and think it's Teddy. Because I, I associate Dan's emotes with Teddy. And I'll see them and be like, oh, Teddy tweeted. I didn't realize I followed Teddy. And I was like, wait, no, that's not, that's not Teddy. That's actually Dan G. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna take the hipped roof to finish off the corners here. I'm gonna start in the front here, drag the corner, drag the roof down. Um, we're actually gonna bring out the overhang to one and I'm gonna drag down the uh, roof piece until it's the same slope as the half gabled. And actually I'm gonna bring the half gabled up because we're gonna make it look like it's a corner. We're gonna make it look like it's a corner piece. I need to actually. No, uh, I had it. I had it correct. This is right. Um, and then I might. I'm gonna bring the overhang of the other half gabled out one. I think. Might have to bring the main part of the roof up. Haven't decided how I want this to look. I might actually be able to get away with not doing the cool like overhang. Might get rid of that back one and then instead take the hipped roof and do it something like this. No. Nope, I still have to do the I still have to do the half gabled, the half gable trick. There we go. And then I Oh, something's not right. Oh, you gotta get rid of the overhang here. And lower this down. Why is that not? Oh, because of the um back part of the house is not square. There we go. So it's gotta be square. It's gotta be, uh, your corners have to be the same width. So this is technically a two by two corner. Like the, um, the porch is two tiles by two tiles on these two corners. You need it to be square for it to work. And then uh, that will then allow you to have a beautiful corner piece and a nice wraparound roof for your wraparound porch. You're still gonna get a little bit of little bit of jank, but it is The Sims 4, so we're just gonna um, we're just gonna look past it. I'm actually gonna bring this out just to, just right there. I'm not gonna nobody's gonna say nothing about nothing. I'm actually gonna get rid of that, and yeah, that's gonna look fine. Yeah, because there's nothing you, there's nothing you can really do about that piece. Actually, there is. I'm gonna take this piece of the roof, drag it over, copy, paste, get rid of the overhang on the right. Nope, there's nothing you can do about that. Never mind. Ha! Well, Dan G tweets about waking up at 3 a.m., which totally could be mine too. That's also correct, Teddy. That is also correct. Poor guy. Dan is Teddy's alt account. Wait a minute. What are you supposed to do when your alt account uh, uh, makes it big on Twitch? Or Twitter for that matter. That looks okay. Might bring up the foundation a little bit higher because it doesn't look, it looks a little top heavy. I like it, Picasso. Okay. Oh, all right, porch time. I 
kill your main ego and let your alter one become the dominant one, I guess. Hmm, isn't that a plot to a movie? Feels like it's a plot to a movie. Okay. I wish I had a beautiful kitty like Ghosty. Just, just take the cat. You already have the cat. It's your cat. We've already established that you're Dan G. All right, let's do a cute little picket fence. Cat emotes, yeah, for pup time. All right, we're doing a cute little picket fence here. Fence, fence, Christ. All right, chat room, we've talked about this before. Well, let's get the... Uh, have you... Well, there's... One of our own is included in that, Anita Bees. Uh, she's got cat emotes, and they're all hella adorable, so highly recommend. Oh, we're going for this. We're going for this beautiful door. This beautiful, beautiful front door. Oh, that'll be perfect. And then we're gonna get some staircases. We're gonna get a stair right here. But before we do that, to save a little bit of money, delete the fence in front of where you're gonna put the stairs. Because if you had just put the stairs up there, you're gonna find that the cost of that invis- Like, when you put stairs into a fence, it doesn't delete the fence. So, it looks like it does, but it's it was still there. So instead, you delete the fence first and then put in your staircase, and now you haven't wasted any money. Also, underneath your staircase that is going up to your porch, delete that little uh, bit of wall there, and that saves you about 130 simoleons each time. These are temporary stairs. I don't know what color we want to have the house be or what kind of style we're going for. We're probably going for more of like a, a traditional suburban home at the moment. Um, so these stairs are probably fine. They're the least expensive stairs and they they just work. So there you go. That's the point, Dev. That's the point. Some people, uh, you know, they're not super confident about their Sims building or they're getting the Sims for the first time. Uh, and I figured like, well, I'm not a sh totally shit builder. Why don't I talk about how I build a like a base game house? So we're, I'm just walk I'm just walking and talking you through the process. I usually do landscaping last. So if you're wondering why we're about to go inside the house, it's because I do landscaping last. Um, we're actually gonna put up windows. Ooh. See, this is where this is where um, things get a little bit different for me. Sometimes I like to put up windows next, so that way I at least like have an idea of like how I want like the exterior of the build to look as far as windows go. But I think I'm gonna wait on the windows until we go inside, so that we know like where's the sink going, where's the like TV going, where are the beds going, so we can know that. So instead, let's get some beautiful little columns here to uh you know increase the realism of like oh like this would be holding up the porch and the roof here yeah, we'll, do, we'll do it like that yeah i'm gonna have one in the wall there it's expensive but it's worth it um and we will also include another staircase here and then i'll make sure that we delete the invisible fence and the little bit of wall underneath the staircase. So now I'm pretty sure I'm going to put a back door here. We'll put, oh, we'll put one of these. Oh, that'll look nice. That's going to look very nice. Um, I want to change the roof pattern to a darker one because I think it looks good. I think it looks better. Uh, all of like the copy pasting that we did, like those those cool tricks that we did earlier. Um, can I actually bring that in one more? No, it's just gonna clip like that. Yeah, it's just gonna clip like 
that. Um, all the copy and pasting that we did earlier, um, if you color your roof first, then it copies all of the roof trim and roof color. So then you don't have to make sure that you're clicking on the eight dozen pieces of roof that you just made. Some food for thought. I do want to put some windows down though. Cause that'll give me a sense of ignore. That'll give me a sense of what, um, like build style we're going for. Ignore my custom content windows. This is cells doing. She did this to me. Came in here once with some chaotic here, download this custom content energy. And I've never looked back. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. That's going to look great. That's going to look just, that's going to look spectacular. Yeah, we'll get, some, we'll get some nice balance with the windows here. We'll do, I think we'll get windows that look like that instead. Yeah, that looks, it looks, uh, they're not like symmetrical, but it looks like how a house would look. There we go. Oh, that's gonna look lovely. Um, eyedropper tool on drywall will bring up all of the uh, paint swatches for your wallpaper. And let's uh, let's get some siding up, shall we? Should we do a blue suburban? Maybe we'll do a gray one. We'll do a gray suburban. Oh, except we're not gonna use the one that has the trim on it because um, I hate the way that that looks. Fill down shift, it applies paint to a full wall or the, to the full room. If you hold down alt or whatever the alt equivalent is on Mac, it will just paint one wall. Oh, there we go. There. Now we have, all right, so chat, you might be tempted in your build to build everything symmetrically. And that's fine. You are more than welcome to build a symmetrical looking house. There's nothing wrong with that. Symmet symmetry is aesthetically pleasing. It fits the vibe if that's what you're going for. What you could also do is have a balanced build. So right now we're still gonna have to work a little bit on the balance here, but that's kind of where we're starting to go, where it's not, a sym it's not symmetrical, but each portion of the build has equal or similar weight to it. So we might put you know, we might have this be more of like an airy side. There's not a lot of like structure on the right side of the build for now. And there's a lot of structure on the left side with that big uh, series of windows with the alcove, with how dark and heavy the roofing is over there. So what we might do instead, chat room, what we might do instead is let's put more landscaping on the right side. Let's make a more, uh, a fuller shrubbery on the right side to balance out the build. So it's not symmetrical, but it has balance to it. Hey Thea, how are you? I hope you're doing well. Welcome in. We're out here learning how to build. And we're just, you know, and if, if you already know how to build, cause a girl, I know you know how to build. Uh, we're just, we're just out here vibing. A base game starter build. Thea, how is your Wednesday going? I hope you are well, my friend. And if you're not, I hope these are the vibes you're looking for. So now we're getting into the lights. I want to put the super subtle saucer light because it's 50 bucks and it's tiny. I know nothing. You know everything. You know plenty of things. Let's get some lights in here so we can freaking see. Uh, I don't like to have the grid on while I'm decorating the inside of the house because it clutters my vision. I will turn on the grid if I'm scooting something to be too close to something and I need to see if Sims are going to be are going to be able to pass through each other or pass by the object. Has been OK, had some nuggies. <gasps> Hell yeah, let's go. GG, Thea, GG. 
I love that for you. I love that. All right, let's start with the kitchen. Let's start with the kitchen. Let's use some nice countertops. These can be the first things to go when we decide that we don't have enough money for these beautiful countertops. Let's start with the island. Or start with the peninsula, I should say. We'll do a corn we'll do an edge piece here. Your Sims can still walk through that. It's just gonna be a bit tight. Are you doing a starter home? Yes, it is a starter home. I'm gonna turn auto counters on and see if that helps. I'm gonna turn auto counters on to see if that helps with that. I don't think it does, but I think that's fine. You can't really tell. Um, let's get some cute little bar stools going on here. Oh, I love the color of these bar stools. Perfect. I think we're gonna move the window over one. Quick tip if you're taking them, I will take them. Go ahead and put up some fridges. Get your toss one fridges in chat, chat. You can connect the counters and bars that are on a wall like that with the outer corner counter piece. The outer corner counter piece. Oh! Learning from chat. So you're telling me, you're telling me that if I take the eyedropper tool and I use the outer corner counter piece, this piece. You can connect counters and bars like that on a wall, on a wall like that with an outer corner piece. So then where does this go? Rotate it. Oh, and scoot. Rotate it and scoot. If you hold down alt, this is called alt placing, then you can uh, free place any item. Perfect. Beautiful. And then it should still snap to the grid there. Lovely. Oh, Thea, that looks amazing. I love that. Is there an equivalent piece for the countertop? Not really. That's okay. Perfect. Thank you, Thea. Thank you. Now that looks like now it looks like it's all connected. Add some depths. It flows smoother. Everything is lovely. Thank you. We're gonna get rid of that counter and we're gonna put in the cooker. Don't put your cooker next to your fridge. It makes your fridge work harder. There we go. You can have it like that though. That's that's okay. I want upper cabinets. We're gonna have to come back to the upper cabinets because these are already too expensive. Actually, I'm gonna get rid of all of those countertops because those countertops were too expensive for what we were trying to do here. Oh, I forgot I'm supposed to know nothing. Exactly, exactly, Thea. You're exposing yourself. Perfect. Then we'll break out the... Lovely. Okay, that is much more affordable. And then let's get the sink back. There, that kitchen actually looks pretty nice. Let's get a little table out down here too. So we'll go to the dining room, table. It'll be lovely. It'll be lovely, the chat room. It'll be lovely. Theo, uh, did you watch any of the Nintendo Direct? Do you have anything that you're excited about? Emily, Thea, Ray Ray. Pikmin 4 and Xenoblade 3's DLC. I am not surprised by either of this, by either of these bits of information. That strikes me as very, very you. 
but I'm excited that you've got that you've got new things to play around with. I'm gonna put this. Uh, I'm gonna put this little this little plant right here on the on the on the dining room table. Are you playing the fashion designer game? There's a fashion designer game. Oh, are they bringing? I didn't watch the direct at all. I've only seen people talk about it. There's a fashion designer game. Uh, Non-subscribers, there will be an ad starting in about 30 seconds. Thank you for supporting the stream for free. Just watching some ads. Are you... Uh, let me grab the vid. Yeah, pop the vid in. Game Boy emulators seem cool. Yeah, I think they will be cool. I don't... There's games on there that I was like, oh, I only played Pokemon and The Sims on my Game Boy. I didn't really play any other games. So maybe I'll enjoy, the, maybe I'll enjoy the games more as an adult than I would as a kid. Very barren kitchen. It's all right. All right, let's look at the living room here. Speaking of Pokemon. Um, I'd like to have a three seater there if possible. Still holding out hope for a GameCube emulator. Keep holding your breath. Katamari. Yeah, the Katamari reroll. I saw that Kevin Song were very excited for that. And Emily, I'm sure that you're also very excited about it. Still have no idea what Katamari is. So Katamari is a game where you're a little prince and you roll up the world because the king of space, the king of space says so. Reroll doesn't have any bangers? Really? No, as nearly many bangers or just any bangers whatsoever. at a cute little coffee table so we can put the little, cute little TV on there. There. Not expensive. Not expensive and your Sims can still watch that. But that does look a little small. So let me use the bracket keys to size up the object so that way it can... So that it can... Well, I guess it's time for BB dot move objects on. This is what allows you to avoid any of the uh, clipping and any of the like error messages that you get with the um with placing objects into one another bb dot move objects on also welcome in thank you so much for the follow hi i'm toss ray you can call me ray ray it is good to see you here thanks thank you so much welcome in friend i hope that your day is going well how are you Also, Joe got me a chocolate covered strawberry, which was very lovely. Um, but then I realized that maybe eating a chocolate covered strawberry on stream is a little messy. So I don't know how I feel about that yet. <laughs> too, too, too fancy, Thea, too fancy, that's too fancy. <laughs> also, I thought you knew nothing. <laughs> what is this, Emily? What is this? Hmm, shit. Oh, is this the direct? Got a passion for fashion? Fashion dreamer. Oh, you know what, Emily? I will not be playing that. I didn't, I, I'm already uninterested. <laughs> Listen, I need a bar, I need a farming, crafting, building waifu simulator. If I don't have that, I don't want it. <laughs> All right. 
Mm. We need a we need like a we need a cute little chair in the corner here. Put a chair there. Oh yeah, let's put a chair there. Put a little end table. Oh, you know what? No, even better. Let's put a table right here on the back of the sofa there. Love it. It's a customizable thing. I thought you'd like it. I I appreciate being thought of uh, in things that I might like. So I will always appreciate people thinking of me. Unfortunately, I don't care for those types of games, <laughs> which is ironic because I love playing The Sims. Like Sims is, is, is the bomb.com. That chair might just be an accent chair. Which then means I want to change this wood color to maybe match the... Or at least not clash. Let's not clash. Let's just go with the white. And then we'll change this to match the wood tone. Kind of. As close as you can get with base game stuff. Cool. That's fine, TV. All right. Let's see here... We'll just stick with the essentials here. Oh, I forgot to put doors. Don't forget your doors, chat room. Um, let's see, we'll put a, the door there. I'm gonna scoot it just ever so slightly so it doesn't look like shit in the corner. Uh, there we go. And then I'm gonna have the other door be like here. Mm, like here. Perfect. Let's paint the walls. Um, I would like to do, actually, I think I'm just gonna stick with some regular paint. Maybe some of the pastels, maybe like a neutral pastel or, do I want this all to be light blue? No, I don't. Oh, but I'll take that peachy color and then let me put a tiling in the back here. Cause that'll look nice. Wunderbar. Oh, that looks lovely. Actually, I want a different color of this checkmate. Can I make it blue instead? Yeah. Remember, chat room, if you hold down Alt or whatever the Mac equivalent is, you can paint just the one wall. Just did that right there. Thea, with the GameCube... With the GameCube emulator, do you think that's when we're getting the Wind Waker update? Or like re-release? Or has that already come out? Wait, did Wind Waker get a HD release? I can't remember. Let's get a let's get a quick cheeky bookcase out here. Just have, this, just have these cute little stacks of books right there. Uh, I think so on the Wii U, no? I have no idea. I've never played Wind Waker before. All right, let's do the bathroom next. Okay, chat room, shower tub combo. Always shower tub combo. Why, now why Ray Ray? Are you saying always shower tub combo? Because if you have any toddlers or infants in your house, you wanna have a tub. So that way you can clean your dirty ass Sims. I mean, your bundles of joy. I mean, your crotch goblins. Wind Waker HD came out on the Wii U. That's unfortunate. Because I was hoping that we might get a Wind Waker for the Switch at some point in our lifetime. Come on now. <laughs> Let's go. All right. Well, that was messier than I thought, but now I've eaten the strawberry. Okay, let's get back into the bathroom. All right, I'm gonna draw a wall here just to give it like a little bit more realism of like separation. And then let's put the toilet in 
We'll just put the cheap toilet. Now I just really want some games that are insanely expensive now. Double Dash, Wario Land, Pit Pain 1 and 2, Paper Mario. Yeah. I've heard amazing things about Double Dash. I really want Double Dash back. So chat room, this is why we turn on build uh, the um, move objects cheap so that you can get your toilet paper to be exactly where you want it to be. Again, if you want to free place an object, hold down alt. And if you got the move objects cheat on, then it won't clip into anything and you can kind of place it wherever you want. So that way you can put your toilet roll exactly where it would be in real life. Let's get some counters up so that we can have a little bit of a vanity. Bop, bop. Put it, get a sink. Bop. Uh, yeah, bop. And put up a mirror. Bop. Lovely. Um, and then we decorate. Oh, redecorate. I'm going to move the window. Uh, yeah, it looks fine. Enjoy your lurk, Thea. Thank you for lurking here because you could have lurked anywhere. I appreciate you, friend. And thank you for the well wishes on learning Bill by. Let's get a lamp up here. Oh, yeah. Look at that chat. Um, I'm going to raise up the lamp. The way to raise up an object without doing free placing. So that if you wanted to keep it like on the grid, you press the nine or zero key and that will raise and lower any object. So lovely. That looks nice. Can I delete that? Oh, I can. All right. So this gives just enough light uh, for it to work for as the main light for this bathroom. Let's get some wallpaper up here. What wallpaper do we want to use, chat? Oh, let's use the let's use this cute one. <laughs> Excuse me. And I'll put tile behind the shower tub combo. Just feels more realistic to me. All right, let's get a let's get a hand towel right there for some realism. Um, this soap dispenser, I would love to place a little further back, but every countertop has its slots. So here's what you do with your boot with your build by. Uh, sorry, with your move objects cheat on. Place your soap, take the counter, move the counter out of the way. Grab the soap, hold down alt, and now you can free place your soap at the appropriate height. If you want to rotate it a little bit, just hold down your left click as you're placing, release everything, move the counter back, and now you have yourself a soap that is alt placed at the exact height and exactly where you want it to be. I'm gonna change the color of this towel to be just solid white. And then I'm gonna take a little plant and put it in the corner back there. Let's do this, do it like that. Can you move it like this? You can move it like that. I wanna put this right above the toilet. That feels very realistic to me. My grandmother had one of these. She had, um, it was, it was legitimate hot pink. Everything in her bathroom was hot pink. Um, and then she had basically this exact same storage unit just over the pooper. It's wild. When I saw it, when I started playing The Sims again, it was just, oh, it's taken back. Taken back in time, chat room. Actually, I want to do the speckled tile. Looks, looks better. Is there a better swatch? Not really. So, man, maybe I don't want to do the quiet tides. This one feels a little too loud for me. but I do want to have some semblance of something up on the walls. Can we do something like this? Uh, what color do I want to use? Oh, let's do this instead. There, that looks lovely. A little more expensive, but it looks better. And then we'll do the pretty acceptable flooring down there. 
And last but certainly not least, let's get a cute little rug right there. And we'll change the color of it using the eyedropper tool. Done. Here we go. Cute little bath. Don't want to blow the budget yet. We still got stuff. We still got a lot of house to for or to finish. Let's get the wood. Let's get some wooden tiles down. Uh, I'm going to take this acceptable floor pattern tile and I'm actually going to do the linoleum, I think. Let's do linoleum in the main part of the kitchen here. Hey, Kiko, welcome in. Good to see you. How is your how's your Wednesday going? I hope you are. I hope it's going well. Oh, that looks much better. Yeah, we'll change that up a little bit. Perfect. Kiko, how are you? I hope you are well, my friend. We're here for the coziest of vibes. The coziest of vibes. Hmm. What if the linoleum was the full kitchen? Would that look bad? Control F to get a corner tile. Perfect. Going fantastic. Just got from agility practice and heard about the new Pikmin game. Let's go. You excited for you excited for the Pikmins? Kiko, that feels like a very you game in the best of ways. Let's actually do. Let's make this darker then. If we're gonna do a lighter floor, let's do some darker uh, tables and chairs. Thank you. <laughs> Good, good. I'm glad you're excited. Glad you're excited. Is that the is that like your highlight of the Nintendo Direct? Or were there other things that you were also excited about? I have not watched the Direct. I've only had people talk, uh, tell me about the Direct. I got to get a little lamp up here. Perfect. That looked nice. Absolutely. I haven't watched the direct, but my friend told me about Pikmin 4. And I immediately went to watch the trailer. Let's go. Yeah, I was in um I was interviewing candidates for an open position on my team. During the whole during the whole direct. So I had to rely on the goodness of others to tell me what I missed. And you all have not disappointed. Other than the fact that like, I'm not the target audience for Nintendo games anymore and that's fine. Every swatch in the Sims 4 base game kinda fucking sucks. Sounds fun. Find anyone good? We did. We did. We interviewed three candidates. Um, they're all they were all qualified. Otherwise, again, they don't get an interview if they're not qualified. Um, they all brought different strengths and different opportunities to the position. Uh, we ended up going with one person. So um, the other two, one of them seemed like they would actually fit a different position that we have open right now that we won't start interviewing for until the end of February. Um, and then the other, uh, I believe that they have other um, applications at the institution. So. I'm gonna put a, I need a plant in the corner. A nice big plant. Just need a plant. Oh yeah, let's get this, let's get this little guy just like smacked up there. He's found someone good relatively fast. Yeah, we, um, when did we open that position? This, this that position actually turned around pretty quickly too. Um, we put up the, okay, I hate this color now. Um, we had posted for this position back in, oh gosh, it must've been, 
uh, mid January. Yeah, because it was only open for like two weeks. Um, when we had like eight or nine applicants, and like that's actually pretty. That's actually pretty good uh, for some of the hiring committees that I've been on in the last year or so. Um, that tile is just not it. better these blue countertops are not it either oh that's that this like ice cream looking one will be perfect hey phantom welcome in how are you i hope you're doing well good morning good morning it's great to see you here again good morning Good morning to you. Can we get something on the wall? Ah, fire alarm. That's what we'll get up. That's what we'll get here. Never forget your fire alarms, chat room. Never forget your fire alarms. Okay, let's do the bedroom. Going old school today? Yeah, we're going old school. Old school base game. That's what we're doing today. Unless uh, you are talking about the music that we're playing today. In which case, I recognize it only because it's on this playlist. I don't know the game that it's from. Um, let's do the easy bed. That's a little uncomfortable, but um, certainly works for what we have or what we're going for. We'll get a dresser. Actually, we might get a chest. Of, should we do a chest of drawers? Yeah, let's do a chest of drawers. Talking about singing in the rain. Oh, ha! Also true. I um, once had a coworker when I was a peer advisor in undergrad, um, and she would come in every morning and sing that song. We both worked at like 8 a.m. right when the advising office opened, and she would come in, she'd open the door, and she would just sing at the top of her lungs, good morning, good morning. And it was wonderful because she was such a delightful person to be around and she always carried like an authentic vibe of like cheerfulness. It wasn't like fake happy, it wasn't toxic positivity. It was just, she always had just a song in her heart and she wanted to share. Um, she was so, she was great, she was great. Loved working with her. It is lovely, it was lovely. The best part, the best part was that the building that we were in um, it was like a big, fancy, like modern building. And we were up on, uh, most people entered on the third floor and it was a five story building because um, it was built into the side of a cliff. So most people entered, entered on the third floor. That's where like the registrar's office was and where like, um, like financial services were. So you could go there to like pay your bill, figure out your financial aid, and also uh, gripe about your registration. It was a one-stop shop. The floor above was then um, career services. And then we were on the fifth floor and it was all open air, mind you, this is all open air. So we're like on like balconies and like you could peer over the railing and look down the five stories through this like beautiful like science like wire sculpture it was very modern very modern um second floor was more student financial services and then the basement was just classrooms um and there were classrooms on every floor so this girl this young woman that i worked with not only was she serenading her co-workers in uh advising but she was also serenading the 50, 60 other professional staff that were working in this building and anyone who happened to have 8 a.m. classes. It was, she had such an air of confidence about her and it was just so, it was so wonderful. So wonderful. Oh, it was lovely. It was lovely. Let's get a picture up here. Oh, that looks nice. Can I get a different color? 
Oh yeah, let's do that. I don't like the I don't like the the beige that we've got going on in here. Let's do let's brighten it up a little bit. Let's grab the standard basics and let's just do build, let's just do blue here. Yeah. Maybe change the bedspread. Yeah. Oh, yeah, that looks I'm trying to match it a little bit to the Chester drawers here. Yeah, that'll work. And then let's get the let's get a rug in here too. Um, this is actually, this rug's actually a little bit too big. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna click it and I'm gonna size it down just one with the bracket keys. Maybe I'm not gonna use that. No, I'm not gonna use that rug. I don't like it. Oh, let's go with this one instead. And let's, uh, no, I don't like that rug either. Hmm. Oh, let's do this, but let's, we'll need to size it down. Cause I like the swatches on these. I like the swatch on this rug. And I'll place that one too. All right, and then let's get some end tables, some cheapo end tables. Bop, if you hold down shift, you get to place another ob the same object, object again. And we'll do a plant on this one. And let's grab a lamp so that way we can put a bedside table, bedside lamp, next to this bed as well. What lamp do I want to use? Let's use this one. I'll put some candles up there too. I'm gonna do the same counter trick here. So if I wanted to scoot this, if I want to scoot these candles back, I can't. But if I move the uh, dresser out of the way, hold down Alt, place the candles at the same height, and move the table back. Now they've been scooted back, and now it looks a little bit, uh, looks better, in my opinion. We have 600 simoleons left, and we have not done a single bit of landscaping. Do not worry, chat room. We are going to use free landscaping. But first, we're gonna, uh, let's, Let's get some nice, what do we want to do here? I kind of want it to be, let's do something wood. Let's do wood again. We'll do it, we'll do like a, a light wood on the outside here. What I would like to do is I'd like to show you how you might be able to get um, like the corner pieces to look a little bit more seamless as it's going around as like the wood is like curving around the porch here. If you hit control F, that gives you the triangle tiles and then you can sort of carefully place them down the aisle here or down the middle of the corner um, and then rotate the pieces. So that way it looks like a seamless uh, connection from one side of the porch to the next. We're gonna do, and we'll do the same for the backyard or the back corner. Perfection. Rotate that. Lovely. Neat. Hmm. Hmm. All right. Let's let's get a. Here, I want the I want the porch foundation to be to look like that, and then the actual foundation of the house to be brick, because I think that's really going to give it. It's going to give it some shine. Let's actually change the wood to darker wood here. Oh, we're gonna have to we're gonna have to replace the uh, we're gonna have to replace the wood that we just did in the corner. Oops. Something's fucky wucky with this. There we go. Oh, this this portion is the fucky wucky bit. 
There we go. Perfect. Is that a technical term? What, fucky wucky? Oops, didn't mean to do that. I was looking at that. I was like, I didn't see Phantom do anything weird. Wow. Mod abuse. Mod abuse. I forgot a computer inside. Fucky wucky with the hyphen. Yeah, that's not a hyphen. Wait, is that a hyphen? Joe, is that a hyphen or a dash? It is a hyphen. Okay. <laughs> I just said that Bray Ray's co co-worker was lovely. She was lovely. Also a mod. How wildly it is it, it to accidentally delete stuff? Yeah, it's so easy. It's so easy. Um, Non-subscribers, there will be an ad starting very soon. Thank you for supporting the stream for free just by watching some ads. Where do I want to put this damn computer because you need to have a computer in a sims 4 house i know we're going to get rid of this back corner here and we're just going to put the computer right there we do not have enough money we need 800 simoleons all right what is an expense that we do not need this table's too expensive actually it's probably not Ugh, we don't need this can't. We don't need two bedside tables. We probably don't need a shower tub combo. It might, uh, we probably don't need this. Let's delete that. Um, we probably don't need this column. Oh, dang it. We need, to, we actually need two more columns. Shoot. Can I get away with not having that column? Yes, I can. Lovely. Hmm, the doors are already as inexpensive as they get. This rug is too expensive. Let's choose a different rug. Let's do a circle rug that we've sized up one and let's change the color of it to be like this big, this bright blue. Oh, that'll look nice. And your Sims can still get through there. Great. All right, so we saved a lot of money on that rug. So let's get a computer right there. Done. Lovely. Now your Sims have a computer. Um, and then we need at least one skill building item on the lot. So we will put an easel in the backyard because that's just a quick and easy. That's a quick and easy way to make a lot of money, as we have found out. Perfect. Okay. This is a fully functional house. So if you wanted to play with this house right now, you could, because this is all base game. Uh, your Sims can get everywhere. It has food. It has all of your basic needs already covered in this household. You could play this as is, but you put this onto a lot. It's not gonna look that great. Uh, there's something missing about it, and that's the landscaping. The landscaping is, thing, is the things that you're missing. Also, hi, Mortimer Goth in the back, in the corner here. Look at this man. Look at that man right there. Oh, what a stud. What a stud. Everyone say hello to Mortimer. Okay. So let's get some landscaping down. Let's start with the terrain paint. Hi, Mortimer. So the first thing that I'm going to do is I'm going to... You want your build to pop? You want your build to pop? You know, throw it back. Uh, don't stop, don't, hmm? You take a little bit of dark, The you take like a little bit of dark uh, terrain paint and you just you just outline the, the foundation of your build. It's just gonna pop. It's just gonna pop right off the page here. So you don't need to do it too bad. You don't need to do it too much. Just need to get a little bit of pop, just a little pop in action. I can't remember. Is is Tosser one pop? 
Toss one pop an available emote. Let's see some toss one pops in chat. Can I see some toss one pops for the pops? Lovely, 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 lovely. We stand. Thank you, thank you. Also, fish. Teddy, do you like to fish? Do you like do you like fishing in video games? I feel like you're I feel like you're a man who likes it, like his fishing in video games. I'm just cleaning up the edges around here. Okay. Um, let's do a back porch. The, the way that we're gonna do that is we're gonna get grab one of the brick and mortars. We're gonna actually first we're gonna find a darker we're gonna find a dark smarter soil, um, and we're gonna put a little bit of a larger footprint than what we are actually going to put down for our fake pavers. Because then what we're gonna do, chat room, what we're gonna do is that we're gonna go over, grab our pavers, and go a little bit smaller than the terrain paint that we just put down because this is gonna make it, what we just did is gonna make this pop. It's gonna pop right off the page. Perfection. Lovely. Okay. Oh, now chat room. I'm going to use up all the money that we have and then we're going to have to go into then we're going to have to go into debug. In fact, can I Ooh, 600. I'd love to have a grill in the back. Maybe I don't have a grill. Maybe instead I have a planter box in the back here. That way you've got you've got something to do in the backyard here. I forgot a trash can. I forgot a trash can chat room. Panic. This is your time to panic. If you ever wanted to panic and drop your panic emotes in chat, now's the time to panic. We forgot a trash can. Wee woo, wee woo. Not moving ready. Not moving ready. Because now I can't even afford a garden box. Uh, fine, I'll get rid of one of these counters. Ugh, annoyed. Fine. Hey, Kronos. Welcome in, friend. It's good to see you here. I hope you are well. How is your Wednesday going? We also don't have any lights on the outside of the house. Can I do this? I'm gonna change it to nighttime so that we can see what this would look like. No lights, hey Matt. So tired, but I'm right. The week's been okay. That's a mood. That's a mood. But I'm glad that you're here. It is good to see you as always, my friend. Matt, I have seen your DM. I have not read it yet. Something came up. So I, I'm still, I'm still look. I, I know to read it. I've seen it. I've seen it. What do we want to do for our pavers here? Can we do something like that? Uh, that doesn't look right. What if we did something like this? Yeah, let's do that. All right. So again, we're gonna do, we're gonna put our little dirt down first, a little bit wider than what we're gonna actually pave out here. And then bop, bop, lovely. Again, you could leave it like this. This would look okay, but, but, but let's get some let's get some flowers down. Okay. Chat. We're gonna make it we're gonna make a little like shrubbery right here. Like right in this little area. The way to make it look good. 
go the tallest shit goes in the back and then it goes it it goes down like cell service all right so your tall shit goes in the back so you would put like your wild grasses for example in the back here then you would put actually work then you would put your like medium height plants like through oh uh, we're gonna just oh, fuck it we're just gonna open up debug okay now that we're getting ready for landscaping we don't have enough money to do that so we're gonna br break out the debug menu and use all the free landscaping that is locked behind a cheat so bb dot show live edit objects in the search type in debug you do need to that's not how you open up debug what is it testing cheat testing cheats on bb.show live edit objects <sighs> bb bb dot show live edit objects on bb dot show hidden objects bb dot show live edit objects on <sighs> excuse me one second Thea! Oh wait, she's she's uh she's probably gone she's probably gone to snooze. I'll look up the cheat myself. Uh show live edit objects. Yeah! Maybe not show live edit objects. Am I just not spelling it right? I'm just probably not. I'm good, just got home from watching hockey. Let's go. Who is playing? Or is it a local show live edit objects? The reason The Sims requires so many cheats, why just aren't these game options? Great question, Yosef. Great question. You should just be able to open up, like, just turn on no clip or to open up the live edit object. And the community doesn't ask for these features? sip we do we ask for these features all the time we would love a toggle move objects cheat we would love a toggle debug and okay i hear more about teeth than this true you do you do all right so we now that we have the debug now that we have the debug menu open if you type in debug into the search box it's going to pull up all of the all of the live edit objects, which is like the objects that you see from around the world. And it's going to show you like the things that like your sim eating a like a bag of potato chips has will like they will have this item in their hand. So um, but we are going to look for the plants and that's what we're going to use the landscape because all of this is for free. We're going to use this. We're going to use this strawberry here downside to debug downside to debug one it's not as high quality like polygon wise it's just not as high quality of an object um and it uh your sim will believe that it's not there so if you tell your sim to go into the middle of the shrubbery they'll just clip through it or if you put down this tree your sim will just walk through the tree they don't see that it's there because it's not a real object. So things to be mindful of when you're when you're placing down debug. But we're gonna get some uh, nice little shrubberies going along the side of this house here. And then we'll start with, actually we're gonna take this plant here and I think we're gonna actually just put it, uh, I don't know what we're gonna do with it. I don't think we're gonna have it yet. That's too big. That tree is too big. Too big of a tree. All right, let's have this beautiful hydrangea bush. I have several different colors of it. I love a good hydrangea. 
Tief Gang. And we discovered, Yosef, that the, the reason why there were teeth were because it was a generations pack. And it's for like, you know, the tooth fairy. Gamers, did you all have the tooth fairy as children? Like when you when you, you would lose a tooth, you'd put it in a little napkin under your pillow and then your parent would give you like a quarter or the tooth fairy would come and give you like a quarter. Sus. Feels like Sonic having teeth when they gave Ash teeth to age him up. Wait, what? Hold on. What? What do you mean they gave him teeth to age him up? I'm gonna need you to explain yourself, good sir. I'm actually gonna move this hydrangea bush over to here. I'm actually gonna move all three of these hydrangeas over to here. He he didn't have teeth before? That's what I'm concerned about, Emily. Oh, these azaleas will be beautiful. Oh, but that's also pretty. I think we're gonna do the the blue flowers over here instead. And then can we size this down? We can, does it come in a different color? It does. Oh, perfection. Uh, but does it come in a different color? Um, that's a fine color. Uh, let's, let's go with these tiny white ones instead. Not exactly what I had in mind, but it'll, it'll do, it'll do. Nope, and now that they've added him in for a smile, he looks significantly older. Really? So did they intentionally add the teeth so that he would look older, or is that just a byproduct of his like character redesign? Unknown, gotcha, gotcha. Now I'm just adding dirt underneath all these plants so that they that they uh, pop just a little bit more. Especially around these bushes right through here. Okay, there's that. We'll get some of the shrubbery in the back here as well. Well, this is strange. Mm. Well, let's do some, let's do one of these. Do they come in different colors? They do. Oh, let's have these beautiful like daisy looking things. Beautiful. I'll place those so it looks like that. And then we'll get the line of shrubbery on this side of the house again too. Actually, let's do let's do big balls. Let's do big big balls of shrubs. And we'll rotate it around so that they don't look like clones of each other. Wonderful. Even though they absolutely are clones of each other. Let's get another hyd let's get one final hydrangea bush just to uh bring it around to town. Excellent. Okay, and then get some more terrain paint on the ground. Get some more terrain paint on the ground. Excellent. 
Last but certainly not least, let's get a tree. Let's get a nice big tree. No, a big tree. A big tree. Here we go. Can we afford any like roof or trim things? No, they're all gonna be too expensive. Okay. You know what, chat room? There you have it. There you have it. A beautiful base game starter home for any, any sim that you might want to start off with. Base game starter home, beautiful lot here. Let's take a let's take a quick tour. Let's take a quick tour. So we have here a new build and a lot that just came on the market. Perfect for any starting couple. Priced at just under 20k simoleons, this is going to be the perfect home for someone who's looking to start new. You've got a be this beautiful wraparound porch with this lovely, lovely front garden. But let's head on inside and take a look at what's going on under the hood. As you come into the as you come into the home, you're greeted with the main living area. It's currently staged to be a living room, but you could you could make this space whatever you needed it to be. Really, you've got yourself the kitchen, a beautiful peninsula with island countertops, with linoleum countertops, and a, you've got yourself a electric. Uh, electric range, working fridge, and a beautiful breakfast nook for you and your loved one. We've got a full bath in the house. Uh, be beautiful shower tub combo for any upcoming little ones who might need a little bit of cleaning up. And then we have the one bedroom in the back here as well. We'll uh, venture out back here beautiful view of the local canal with uh, a, 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 pave, a paved patio for entertaining for you know having your guests for watching the night sky any at any time in willow creek um, and some beautiful local fishing spots available all around so that's the home that's the home what'd you think chat room what do you think would you like to have this build would you like to have this Base. Uh, well, hold up. We'll upload this to the gallery here. Base game starter home. Perfect for the starting simmer and their starting family. Included? <gasps> oh my god, you're right. Oh my god. 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 How could I be so foolish? He should be easier to find too, because there's not as much stuff. I was about to seriously upload this thing without Tosser One included. You go to Tosser One canceled me. I'm actually gonna add some lights while we're here. I'm gonna add this light. Cause this is a free light and uh, it'll look, it'll make the uh, landscape pop a little bit. Lovely. Where is he? I swear. We need to make a CC version, but it's actually named Toss One Included, so it's easier to find. I need to... I need to make a room and have that be Toss One Included and put that up on the gallery. I just keep forgetting to do it. I'll do it here.
I'll be honest, chat room, I thought this build was going to take me longer. So, um, what are we going to do next? I still want to do sim stuff. I still don't know what to do next. Oasis Spring Starter? Oh, modern build. Let's do that. That one is going to take me long. That one, that's going to take me longer. Where is our boy? Where is included? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Heckin' hell's bells. Where the hell is it? This is the problem with debug chat. Nothing's labeled. He also looks tiny, tiny in his picture. I just can never remember what he's standing next to in the catalog. I pass him. I pass him. Diane, thank you. Thank you. Also, hi, Diane. How are you? There he is. I'm going to I'm going to make the room right now and we're going to upload this. We're going to upload him to the gallery. We're going to upload him to the gallery. It's the road. It's the roadside attraction from Oasis Springs, AKA Tossa One included. Okay. No. Now let's upload this to the gallery. Fuck. Every time. Every time chat room. Every time I build something in The Sims, this is all this happens to me. Of the gallery photo is not of the front of the build. It's always of the fucking side. But you look at the second picture and you're like, that actually looks great. I wouldn't want this. I wouldn't want to flip it around. This is oh oh oh. I'm tilted chat. I'm tilted tilted. I'm tilted right over the edge. Base game starter build. A perfect starter home for the starter sim simmer and their starter family. Hashtag starter, hashtag base game, hashtag inclusion. Bop, bop, upload. There you go, chat room. If you want to follow me on the gallery, there's my gallery ID. Y'all have been downloading my builds? Why? It's crazy. And I got a new follower. Hell yeah. Seriously, why are y'all downloading my builds? My builds are not that good. But thank you. Okay. Gamers, I'm going to go on a quick break. Anata's about to start. I'm going to go on a break. 
P, uh, refill my tea here. And then when we come back, we're gonna do a modern build, but also a starter home. And we're gonna continue our vibes then. But don't go nowhere. I'll catch you gamers in a little bit. Try not to miss me too much, but I'll be back in just a few minutes, okay? Okay, all right, all right. Don't go nowhere, okay? Okay.
All right, welcome back, gamers. How we hanging? How's it going? Hello, everybody. Welcome back. Welcome in. If you're just getting here, hello, my name is Toss Ray. You can call me Ray Ray. I use he, him pronouns. I've got a new cup of tea. I've got myself some Amy Neems. And we are ready to take on our next build challenge for the evening. It's not so much a build challenge as it is just uh, um, going to, going to, we're building, we're on to our next build. Um, I need to give our man money back. Uh, I need to give him 20,000 simoleons. We need to go back to Manage Worlds. Save and go to Manage Worlds. We're gonna go do a modern build. We're gonna go do a modern build. Evict household, yes. Where are we gonna put the modern build? Let's put the modern build. We're gonna put it there. Uh, manage households you we're moving you in to this lot here. Let's go should make tea I'm right now having a calming chamomile calming chamomile chamomile Because uh, all the other teas that I have are like high octane caffeine and it's like I don't I don't need that in my life right now Okay All right, let's do this. Oh, why does he have so much money? What is this? What the fuck is this? I've never seen this lot, this room in my entire life. What room is this? What is this? Look at all these debug rooms. What? What are all these? Oh my God. Oh my God. Oh my God, look at all these. Have you ever, has anyone ever seen these? Is this even the real life or is this just fantasy? Free rooms, it's free real estate. Seriously, I've never, I have never seen those rooms before in the debug, in like any of these item, any of these before. Wild, absolutely wild to me. But cool, okay. Well, bulldoze a lot, my guy. Okay, we should only have uh, 1850 simoleons for this lot. Okay. Okay, modern builds are modern because they're modern. I'm sticking to that statement. Nobody gets to comment any of anything about what I just said. Modern builds are defined with by their shapes and they're like clean edges. They're mostly fancy boxes. That's kind of the, that's kind of uh, modern build sticks. So that's what we're going to go with chat room. That's what we're going to go with. I'm, so my story and I'm sticking to it and I just need to open up this gosh damn bag of M&Ms and then we can get to it. I'm certainly not delaying the inevitable. Fancy box is also what they call me. Love that, Diane. <laughs> oh my god oh my god come on open up gamers while i'm struggling with this uh free ama go ahead and ask me anything i'll answer whatever you want container home hey hey phoenix welcome in if i listen if i had eco lifestyle i absolutely would build you a, a container home um because eco lifestyle has some amazing items for uh, container homes. But Phoenix, how are you? Happy Wednesday or Thursday, depending on where you are in the world. I hope you are doing well. Just want these fucking snacks open. Yosef. Ah. Oh my God, oh my God. You know what, fuck it. I don't need to, re I don't need to be able to reseal it. I just, seriously, why can't I get into these? Oh my God, chat, this is like an actual problem. I have an advanced degree. Why can't I open this bag? All right, there we go. I just had to get angry. Whew. All right. Let's go.
All right, I see it. I see it in my mind's eye. Box. Box. It's gonna be two stories. And then we'll have a box back here. Mm, yeah, nope, we will have a box back there. The schools don't teach the base of life. So her paper means nothing to the bag. <laughs> Hi, Alan. Thanks for the existential dread. Huh. And I'll have you know, Alan. I'll have you know. can't do that can you no you can only do i want to have i want to i want the stairs into this place to be um platforms and platforms are different from foundations because they're on the same level but then you can make like custom staircases with it and i'll have you know alan that i went to my master's I went into my master's program and I did learn skills. That's why I did it. It's a, it was a professional program for me to be able to fucking babysit uh, college students for four years. But Alan, how the heck are you? I hope you're well. Did they teach you how to open bags? No, no, they didn't. They did not teach me how to open bags. And then we're gonna get this and just make it a white. Oh, gonna make this a white plaster. Oh, that'll look nice. That's gonna look very nice. And then up top, we're gonna do the same sort of thing that we did last time. We're gonna add a room to the top here. And we're gonna, we're actually, instead of putting a roof on it, we're gonna use platforms. We're gonna raise this up too. And then we're gonna put little teeny tiny half walls all around here to give it a little bit more uh, pizzazz and to make it look a little bit more modern. And then we're gonna put some uh, greenery up there too. I think that's what we're gonna go with for our rooms today. That's a huge included back there. Where? Here? There? Yeah, that's, that's the OG right here. That's the OG included. That's where he comes from. We'll have to include him twice. Just putting up these half walls because then you can actually paint the half walls the same as the rest of your build. I see the daddy included. Exactly. It's daddy included. I'm sorry, chat room. I'll go. Toss it one daddy. Hope the simming is going swimmingly. Hi, Jambo. I will recognize your attempt to make a pun. Speaking of daddies. <laughs> Not how I would categorize Chambo, but all right. But welcome in friend, I hope you are well. Hope you're feeling better. Hope you're feeling better. Look forward to hearing your thoughts on the direct at some point in the future TM. But 
Hope all is well in your world. Hope all is well. What did I want this? Oh, I did want them to be just a solid black. Feeling much better? Good, good. I think everybody's cozy in here. We just finished up one build not too, too long ago. Um, we finished a more traditional suburban home and now we're on to a modern build today or this for the rest of the evening. I've never really done a modern build, so I might not be as uh, proficient as I was with the other build here. But so far, you know, we got the custom stairs, you know, they, they, those look pretty modern. We got ourselves a box. You know, that's a, that's pretty modern, too. But a if it isn't. Gamers, gamers, hold on, hold on. Pause the action. Everybody stop what you're doing. Fry, my boy, my son. The joy of my life. The reason to get up in the morning. My pride and joy, the apple of my eye. How the heck are you? I hope you're well, Fry. I hope you're doing so well and that everything is exactly as you want it to be because you deserve it, my son. You deserve it. How are you, Fry? Happy Thursday slash Wednesday. Wow, this reception. Yeah, because he's my boy. He's my son. And I treat him with love and respect and tender careness. You can learn something from me. About how to treat Fry right. I don't know what this is going to be. I think this might be a bedroom. Oh, this might actually be an office. I think we might put an office back there. You're very happy and cozy. Good, good. Didn't you all make an, uh, a cozy command? Yes, yes you did. You did, make a, you did make a cozy command. I don't know why I brought that back to your attention. I want nothing to do with that cozy command. <laughs> This'll do. Let's get a little staircase going back up. I think we might do, let's try to do a loft. Oh, do you wanna do a loft chat room? Let's do a loft. Okay, so. Here's how you do a loft. It's actually very easy. You find your fence. Find your find your favorite fence. Uh, let's go with something that's a little modern, something that's not gonna break the bank. We're doing a loft. We're doing a loft. Dever, you're gonna be okay. Um, let's see. Let's not do the ladder uh, fencing because that's a great way for your kid to go tumbling over the edge. No, that's not a thing that can happen in The Sims. But it is a thing that can happen in real life. All right. So to make a loft happen, you are going to make, make your stairs. You're going to make your stairs and go up to your second second floor. You're going to draw a fence through the stairs over to your other wall. That's going to make two rooms. You've got this room where that we're going to keep. We're going to this is going to be where you put all your shit. And then this this is the second room. You're going to click remove floor. And now you have a loft. I'm just gonna bring it back one here. Yeah, that's exactly what I wanted to do. Um, but now I need to fix the staircase real quick here. Two seconds, chat room. Oh, I need to fix that wall. Um, and we need to fix the fence right there. And then we'll put the wall back. Boom, there you go. That's how you do, that's how you make a loft. Uh, that's not the right, that's not the right one. That's not the right one either. Uh, is it this one? No. It's this one and it's this, this swatch. There it is. Okay. Now the railing matches the, matches that. Perfect. Cool. Wonderful, wonderful, wonderful. Actually, let's not have that be a door. Let's have that be, 
Oh, I know, I know. Let's get fancy. Do you want to get fancy, chat room? Let's get fancy. Put a column there, put a column there, and then get yourself a spandrel and plunk it down there. Oh, why didn't that work? Oh, because it was all just, it just all worked. It just, it was just all one room. Perfect. Um, I actually don't like that. I actually think that looks stupid. So instead, we're just gonna get a, we're just gonna get a regular archway. It's gonna get a, get a great big regular archway. Come on, a great big regular archway. Great big, yes, big. Mm, big, 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 big. And we're gonna make this the kitchen. We're gonna make this area the kitchen. I hate that. That'll do. Okay. Mm, maybe this will be a dining room or a living space. I don't know what we're gonna make this yet, but I think I like it. Cool. All right, so now let's do, let's get some lights in here. comes the fun part. We're gonna put windows in. And since it's a modern build, the only thing you need to worry about, the only thing you need to do is just uh, put in, you just need to put in a bunch of windows. You don't need to worry about what they look like. They just need to be great big windows. Oh, let's play around with lighting too. Oh, that'll, that's going to be fun. That's going to be hella fun, chat room. I'm going to put a bathroom up there, too. <gasps> it's my favorite song. This song is such a vibe. This song is such a vibe. I want the door. Give me the door. Door, door, door. Thank you. Oh. There we go. There's a little bit of missing, uh, missing plaster there. Ah, uh, that didn't look right. That doesn't look right. That doesn't look right either for the bathroom. Maybe it, it, maybe it does look right. No, no, that's, it's too much, Jerem, it's too much. Oh, but we can do this. Let's do something like this. Yeah, that'll be, that'll be good. And then we can do something similar down here because if that's going to be the kitchen, then like the, That'll look good. That'll be fine. Over here, though, there might, just, there just might not be windows on this side of the house. It's not the end of the world. It just doesn't feel as good. That's okay. Um, but then down here, we'll definitely want some of these great big windows again. And then we'll want a door to like a patio. Those windows are huge. I know, right? Isn't it wonderful? Love how big these windows are. When in doubt, make them bigger. And then let's get it some just regular old stairs. 
go from here over to here, and then we'll delete that. And we'll get some white uh, concrete. I think we might just use this concrete to make like a little patio back here. Should we invest in a pool? Let's try and let's see if we can make a pool happen with our budget. Because remember, chat room, our budget is rather limited. Okay, there's that. Do, 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 do. Then we'll need we'll need a little bit of a privacy fence. Small privacy, you understand. There we go. That'll look nice. And then we can put some landscaping around the edge there. Perfect. Yeah. Yeah! Okay. So what does that look like just sort of overall? Okay, it's got the semblance of like a modern build. Right? Yeah. We're going to need to give our guy just a little bit more money. I hope everyone is, is okay with that. And we're going to make it work. We're going to see if we can make this work but I have a feeling that we are gonna need to give him just a little bit more money. Like everything just starch white. Perfect. Oh no, we gotta do the, oh, pure expressions is the better option, but I don't, you can't, pure expressions is expensive. We'll be okay with this, we'll make this work, okay. Let's head down and let's start in the kitchen. Oh, the harbinger, the harbinger counter absolutely screams modern. Ooh, I have an idea. In chat room, you have to stop me if this is, if this is gonna be ugly. Because then what we could do, what we could do chat room is make this like dividing wall, like a stone. And like, that's, that's like modern, right? And then we could put like a, okay, we're giving our man, this is no longer a starter home. I don't care. I'm inspired. Oh. Okay, well, let's maybe not make it like a, a non-starter starter home. We've already spent 18,500. So if I gave him another, 10 grand, that should be fine. Okay. All right, so this is no longer a starter home, but it's still base game, so that's pretty good. Yeah, because then we could have like a fireplace over here, and then this could be like, uh, I don't know, um, like a... Are you telling me 100K isn't normal starter home budget? Correct, 20K is. Yes. Yes, Diane. Uh, Dev, do y'all understand the struggle of cleaning out your CC folder? Yes, that's why nobody does it. Non-simmers, if you don't know what the CC folder is, this is where you put all of your custom content. And like... No, there are no... Unless you have already meticulously organized your custom content folder, you don't know what's a hair. You don't know what's going to be like a window or like a cool couch. You don't know what's a skin tone. You don't know what's like a cool pair of shoes. Like, there is no way to tell, and there's no standard naming convention for any custom content because it varies from creator to creator. So you download all this shit into your mods folder, and then the game updates and now half of it's broken, but it is impossible to find which piece is broken. So cleaning out your mod folder, 
impossible unless you're already organized. Second, what Dev is describing is what happens when you clean out your mod folder is you delete it all so you can then go download the exact same number of CC items, but you don't think to actually organize it this time. So then you're still in the same place that you started where your game takes four hours to load. Also, non-subscribers, there's an ad starting very soon. Thank you for supporting the stream and keeping pre-rolls off just by watching some ads. I'll see you in 90 seconds. This is the struggle of every simmer ever when it comes to custom content. Organism by type and it's still irritating. Dev, how often do you find that your custom content bre breaks after an update? Is that a thing that happens to you frequently? Do we want a red kitchen? I kind of want a red, red kitchen. Is that okay? I'm no longer taking suggestions. We're doing a red, we're doing a red kitchen. And we'll have just like ever so slice, slightly nicer appliances in here. Not too much though. Just ever so slightly. Cause it's modern. Uh, you have folders like uh, hair male, hair female, accessories, tops male, facial hair, etc. Nice. That's how I have my um, cast items divided up too. Or something similar. I can't remember how they're named. Surprising my CC like never breaks. I suppose cast items are less likely to break than like Bill Buy or like gameplay casts. I'm gonna scoot these windows up just one. It's the only four main mods I'm gonna use. Fair. I gotta use this cool angle. Yeah. You're not cool until you have an angle. Oh, I accidentally moved that to my household inventory, which I did not mean to do. Uh, UI cheat. What are the mods you use? UI cheats, more cast columns, MC command center, and pose player. That makes a lot of sense for how you play the game, Dev. Pose player rarely breaks. Valid. Fair. I would be shocked if it did, to be honest. Oh yeah, we are absolutely gonna be playing around with some lighting going on here. All right, so let me actually delete that. Okay, and what I mean, what do I mean by playing around with lighting? When you're in live mode, you can change the color and hues of lights, or I'm sorry, you can change the hues, hue and brightness of different lights. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna try and play around with some of those lights to see like, what can we make that's gonna look like really freaking cool. Like we're gonna get some like wall. I want to. Do we have any neon? Do we have neon um, items in the base game? You said this won't be a starter anymore. Correct. This is not a starter. Good night, Kiko. Thank you for hanging out. I hope these were the vibes that you were looking for as you drift off into slumberland. And I'll see you tomorrow for City Skylands. And if not, then definitely in the next one. Have a good night, Kiko. Oh, let's actually size that up a little bit. What? It's fine. Ray, Ray really did say starter. I barely know her. The lot's not worth that much. The lot's only, the lot is probably going to be worth like 30,000. We don't need to talk about how much, I, how much the lot is currently worth. No, we don't, we don't need to do that. Is that light floating? Yep. Um, I don't think I care. Million dollar lot, no.
Ray Ray, this pool is a square. Yes. Astute observation, chat room. Astute observation. 24 hour, $2 million lot. Ch challenge confirmed, not clickbait. <laughs> nope. disappointed in the metal in the lack of lights that are in here did I seriously delete all of the lights I must have where's the sauce where's the itty bitty saucer there we go People do be lurking. People do be lurking. We respect the lurkers. That's all right. Tonight is a tonight's a night of cozy vibes. Tonight is a night of just sitting back, cozying up. I understand that I'm probably in somebody's background, and frankly, good. That's all I've ever asked. Just come on in, boot me up, just hang out and vibe. Just hang out and vibe. Oh, the, that's not the vibe though. Oh, but that is. Food coma mode? Exactly, exactly. Food coma? Also, hi, Kevin. Good evening. I hope you... It sounds like you're well if you're in a food coma. Oh, but Kev, I hope you are well. I hope your Wednesday's going well. Sounds like it's great if there's food involved. That's all right, Dev. You know what, Dev? If it's just you and me tonight... Fantastic. What do you want to talk about today? Also, I saw that Thea said that she had nuggies earlier. She did. She did have nuggies. Can we get a chess table? I forgot to get a chess table back here. Cousin and I went out for food, had pesto, chickens, quesadilla, and a peanut and a chocolate peanut butter bar. Oh. And you had nuggies yesterday. Dev, you were at McDonald's. You could have gotten the nuggies. You chose not to get the nuggies because you were trying to be responsible. I'm sorry, I'm busy. Kevin don't have to share. Kevin can keep all of the pesto chicken for herself. I only brought enough for me. <laughs> it's all right, Kev. If you need to twirl the mustache, I, I understand. Uh, we're out of money, chat room. We fastly, fastly ran out of money. This is my problem with modern builds is that I want them to look really fucking cool, but you can't do that because the really cool shit's very expensive. We'll just put the chest table. I guess not upstairs. I guess we'll put the chest table outside. Yeah, let's put the chest table outside. And get some cheapo chairs too. Lovely. Okay, we'll put it actually down there. No, there's no trash can. There's no trash can on this lot. Everybody panic, there's no trash can. We gotta get mailbox out here. Where is mailbox? 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 Mailbox. mailbox. 
Okay. All right. All right. We're good. We're good. We're good. All right. Nobody panic. Nobody panic anymore. I see you panicking. No panic. No more panic. That'll do. Oh, 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 where'd the, where'd the girl go? There's a girl. Okay, perfection. Lovely, 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 lovely. I need to get a little TV. Little TV going on, action going on here. If I can find the damn TV, there's the TV. We'll just have a little itty bitty baby one. So there's that, and then uppies. There. God damn, this house looks like something EA would design. Don't worry about it, chat room. We're not we're not going to talk about it. We don't talk about this house cuz it sucks. We don't talk about this house. But it was my wedding day. We were getting married and there wasn't a cloud in the sky. Okay. Um. The neon in the kitchen is dope. Hell yeah. Hey, proper. How's it going? Good evening. Hope you are well, my brother. But I'm glad you like the neon in the in the uh, kitchen. Mm, let's give me just another thousand dollars, because I still need to make the bathroom. Loft fancy, very fancy, right? Right? I thought it would be. Children are not allowed in this house. So I can get away with uh, having just the shower. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm, mm -hmm. Actually, let's just do the, let's just do a tub instead. And let's do a little half wall next to the tub. Cause then we can put the, oh. Where does the sink go? Where's that thousand dollars coming from? Are you doing a crime? Absolutely. Be gay, do crimes. Hail Satan. Gotta have the loo roll. You don't need to wash your hands. Washing your hands is for the chumps. I don't think I'm gonna take um, the advice from you. Thank you for your input, though, uh, is very much um, it happened. <laughs> oh, French toast sticks. I really wanted to use I really wanted to use this tub. Hail Stalin. What? Wait, what? Wash your hands in the bathtub. A, a genius. Birds of a feather flock together. Get a toilet with a sink on top of it. That's what we should have gotten in tiny living. Ugh. But no, we couldn't have nice things. 
Just put out a gallon of hand sanitizer. Easy. Yeah, easy. Like a prison toilet? No, like a tiny home toilet. That was a weird way to say present. Hey. <laughs> I mean, for may, maybe, I, 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 I doubt. The big X to doubt on that one. <laughs> I feel like there's some amenities that, you know, come with the tiny home that perhaps aren't necessarily found in the block. Uh, they make small ones. Uh, they make ones for small apartments or water saving people, the sink that drains. The sink drain fills the toilet tank. Which is all fine and well until like you need to shave. And then you shave into the sink and then the sink, then the hair goes into the toilet and it then just clogs the toilet from a way that you didn't realize that you could clog a toilet from. Modern, modern. Modern, modern. Why aren't these in alphabetical order? Just somebody tell me why. Pride flag. Uh, where is it, where is it, where is it, where is it? There it is. Is this seriously all the things that are categorized as modern? That's ridiculous. Toiletrains are way bigger, so shaving shouldn't clog them. Hmm. Noted. Are there no modern rugs? I have so many questions about what what counts as modern in this game. Maybe if you shave dreads into them. I think you're supposed to cut dreads. I I have no idea how dreads work. I'm going to take that back. I have no idea. sakes. I want to get this lined up just perfectly. So maybe if we put, if we put, yeah, 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 yeah. Okay, that'll look, this looks better. This looks better. Is this Ken's theme? This is Ken. Good ear, good ear. Very modern, thank you. I'd like to think so. So much for this being a, a Ken topic. Got that cursed thing lives here now. Wait, now that I don't have a budget, I can get the I can get the actual uh like white pure expressions. When are we getting Barbie W? Uh, I think uh, 300 subs. I think that's my price. 300 subs. You're at 105 right now.
So, you know, when payday comes around, you know, think, think of your good pal, Ray Ray. And ask yourself, would you like, would you like Barbie W? But I, do I want Barbie W in Ray Ray's chat? And if you say, yes, I do, I do, I do, I do, I do. Well, you know what to do. You know exactly what to do. That's a little tight. Let's do something like that instead. Yeah, I guess this, I guess this bathroom is just not gonna have a sink in it. Oh well, it'll be fine. Okay, but if I don't have a budget, can I at least like get, now can I like get nice things? And then I wanna get some like statues and stuff. Or there's, um, it's like a coat rack. Yes, coat rack. You can't extend it sideways? No. How many subs for Fry W? You can add Fry W right now, Kev. That boy is always allowed in this chat. Excellent. Let me, uh, there you go. Let me see your fried W's in chat. Let me see your fried W's. <gasps> You're famous, Fry. You're famous. Hey, look, Ma, I made it. Mom, look, I'm on stream. No one tell Fry's mom that he's already been on a more famous stream. <laughs> Oh, uh, look at all those, look at all those, look at all those, those cuties right there. Look at all those cuties. So cute. What do I want to put here? What should I put there? I put an activity? Oh, I know. We'll put a treadmill. Okay, I didn't realize that we were making fucking Don Lothario's house here. Shit. Yeah, we'll put exercise equipment there under the stairs. Well, Dev, then don't make BT. It, Dev, if you don't want that to happen, we're gonna get Dev, we are gonna get Dev W. So if you don't want that to happen, here's two things. First, don't look squarely at some at the camera because that's how they get you. You don't look squarely at the camera. Second, don't make anybody the editor of your BTT V emotes. Because as soon as you do that, done. Straight up, good canceled. I want to ride my bicycle. I want to ride my... Oh, God, Alan, not Fahrenheit again. Oh, God. Uh, anyways, Fahrenheit was just a guy making thermometers when they weren't accurate or precise. After finding out... And after finding out scientists uh, could really use a better one, he began making them based on the Romer, on the Romer scale and tried using body temperature as calibration, uh, but he came to realize that body temp isn't stable and changed to defining it off of boiling and freezing uh, while keeping the scale close to what he was already making. So numbers got weird. You've looked at the camera and Thea and Bucket are your editors. My man, you might as well, you might as well just pack it in right now because I'll tell you, you're getting yourself a, a, a dev W. I heard Fry W and for Harnite. 
Emily, you stepping? I don't think Emily is stepping. I think Emily is interested. Also, welcome back, Emily. I'm glad we could call you out a lurk with Fahrenheit. He just put the fucking thermometer in his mouth. Just accept it. Yeah, and we're all better for it. You think you get Celsius without without him sticking the thermometer in his pie hole? That's fry? It is fry. Thought there was more to the story, so you kept digging. Oh, there's a lot to that story. There's a lot, a lot to the story. Cacti, yes. Yes, cacti. Put it in his mouth, his wife's mouth, his kid's mouth. He should really not put it in his kid's mouth. Like he can be flexible all he wants, but he needs to keep that shit away from his kids. That's a step too far. Does that look good, chat room? You can say no. He looks human-like? What does that mean? Are you disparaging my boy? Can't go wrong with cactus. True. Spoken, spoken like a true teddy cactus. Wrong, fry is beep boop robot. Is Tartosa the only beachside world from Salami? Um, yes. Honestly, I thought you said Salami. I was like, yeah, that's a great, that's a great, that's a better name for Salani. Am I wrong? What are you wrong? What are you wrong about, Emily? Oh, about Fry being beep boop robot? That's true. He is a beep boop robot. Beep boop boop bop. Beep boop boop bop. Hello, yes. I would like you to play that one again. Mmm, which one, man? The one that goes beep boop boop bop. Mmm, I think you mean the one that goes beep bop bop boop. God, we're not doing this again. We're not fucking doing this again. No, the one that goes beep, boop, boop, bop. Boop, boop, beep, boop, bop. Boop, boop, beep. Okay, there are fewer sounds in this world that give me a bigger and a more immediate hit of dopamine than the sound of The Sims for like, like kerching noise. So good, so good. Cause every time we touch, I get this feeling and every time we kiss, I swear I could fly. Can't you feel my heart beat fast? I want this to last. Is the lighting messing with me or does the pool have green walls? It's the lighting. It's the lighting on the lot. It has, it has the default blue walls.
actually it's coral blue number it's coral blue number two for referencing spongebob more cacti for the cacti that looks fucking stupid I'm gonna look around the world to grab some inspiration. Let's grab one of these beautiful, let's grab this big old rock right here. It's a rock. It's a big, beautiful rock. too tired to sketch a robot fry that's okay that's all right we look forward to the when you do have the energy because we know that it's going to be amazing And then what do we do, chat room? What do we do? Put a little put a little bit of dirt under here. Just make it pop. I think we're just gonna can we do just desert? No. Pine duff? Yeah, let's just do the pine duff. Opened the Sims 4 like 20 minutes ago and you've just been staring at the at the map screen. Well, that's a that is a little bit of a mood when it comes to the Sims 4, so I won't. I don't, I don't fault you for that either. I just don't live in the desert, so I don't know what um, looks good as far as landscaping goes. Cacti and sadness. That's not a mood. That actually looks quite nice right around here. I actually like that. I like that a lot. Lovely. Lovely! Okay, we need it to be nighttime, so this man needs to get in here and sleep. Because I'm going to change all the lights. Doot. 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 Get the fuck out of here, Johnny Zest. Bye. Just sleep through the day. Let's 
so it can be nighttime. Perfect. All right. Get out. Get out of the house. Go, 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 go. Perfect. Now, now chat room. Now we get to play with the lights. So for set color intensity for this room, we're gonna make it blue. Perfect, okay. And over here, I think we're gonna do this light, we're gonna set as like a violet hue. Actually, I think we're gonna set all of these to like this whole like bedroom space to a violet hue. I think that that really speaks to me. Yeah. So we'll go down a floor. Well, wait, we'll go back up a floor. Is there another, was there a floating light around here? I don't think there was. Bisexual lighting. I was going for trans lighting. Hold on. Mm, I think the closest we're gonna get is bi lighting. Just because I can't get the I can't get the like the light blue. Because the neutral white isn't right. We'll go with that. In here, let's make the kitchen. Can we get away with more of a red color in here? Or is it a little borked because of the other lighting from upstairs? I think it might be a little borked. Oh no, not all lights, not all lights. Just this light. That can be, that can remain the same. That can remain the right color. Let's get, let's get a light in the pool here. Should get a couple lights in the pool. Make those blue. Look nice. Um, and then that might be okay. That might be that might be what we do. Oops. Uh, this light. Uh, let's. Can we do a green? Now I'll just go for blue. This room. Go for blue. That covers that. I feel like it's missing something. But what is it missing, chat room? It feels like there's something missing from right here, but I don't, maybe there's nothing missing from that. Maybe it's that's just perfect the way it is. I might get some lighting, just some like ground lighting around here though. Like just around the outside. Round the outside, round the outside. Yeah, that'll do. And then we'll, let's get the pebbles to go around the side. Oops. We'll space this out just a little bit differently. Did I want lights on this side? Not really, no, but I will put, uh, maybe I should put lights just around the back here. Yeah. 
Yeah, that kind of does make the difference. All right, we'll do that. Perfection. Okay. I'm not going to put this one. Um, I don't know. Does anyone want this build on the gallery? I don't it doesn't it doesn't speak to me. It's not my better modern builds, but it it functions. The lot is worth 30 about 34,000 simoleons. It's not really worth it. But if somebody wants it, I'll put it up there, but otherwise I'm going to hold on to this one. You like it? Use it. All right. Modern Azure. This one is just for death. Here you go, bud. Modern base game. Cool. Here you go. She's all yours. I wonder what else do I have? What do I have on my gallery right now? I don't remember. Included's already in the background. We're good. If you need included, just download included. He's right there. He's the room on my gallery. <coughs> oh goodness mm. modern home vibes so I have built another modern home before I don't recall building this. Hold on, chat. This is what we're gonna, I just need to check out this. I need to check out what this build uh, that I built was. Cause I don't, I do not remember it. I remember vaguely building this. What is this, a 30 by 20? Where is this parked? Place lot. First color is not installed. Do you want it? Uh, if you place it now, you want to see, oh right, I don't have any packs installed. Okay. What does this house look like? Oh, I remember this house. There was, so Modern Home Vibes, there was a picture that I saw and I just Googled like Modern Homes and there was a picture that I saw. It was from the pool into the back of the house and you could see like the different colored like RGB lights in all of the modern house what? and like throughout the house. Hey, welcome in. It is good to have you. Thank you so much for the follow. Hi, I'm Toss Ray. You can call me Ray Ray. It is good to see you here. Thank you so much for following. I appreciate it. Hope your Wednesday or Thursday is going A-OK, -okay, my friend. But welcome in. It's good to have you here. Um, but it was, there was just something like really majestically vibing about it. So I, I was like, let me, I need to make the whole house behind it. Hey, welcome in brutally. Brutally toasted. Toasted? Brutally, brutally toasted, brutally. Um, it is good to have you here. Hey, Christina, welcome in too. But really welcome in, it's good to meet you. Hope your day is going well. What else, what else do I have in my, in my library? Oh God, a really bad house. I'll have to renovate that one at some point. Oh, this was my first attempt at one of Simsy's shell challenges. This definitely turned out really good. It was like a luxury apartment. This one, this back one was her actual shell challenge. I have to place that one down too later, but anyways. Um, but yeah, love Simsy, me too. Simsy is, um, Simsy is probably the reason why I play The Sims 4 uh, so much. Cause I just, it's just, it's so good. It's so good. Um, yeah, it's not my finest build, not my finest build, but I'll take it, I'll take it. Um, well, gamers, uh, I think that's actually where we're going to wrap it up here. We've got two, we built two builds. We have that modern build that we just did. 
And then we just did this Willow Creek build earlier this stream. Um, it's a, you know, traditional suburban house. This one is actually a starter. If you want either of these builds or anything that I might have shown you off of my gallery, there's the gallery ID for you, Yular94. But we did this one earlier today. We just did the modern build. I think we had a fantastic time, but let's have a little chit chat, shall we? And then we'll go on a raid and spread some of the good vibes. Sounds good? Don't go anywhere. Let's chat. Well, gamers, as always, thank you so, so much for hanging out tonight. This was uh, a fantastic evening. I had a boatload of fun. Um, for those of you who are simmers, I hope that you learned something about how to sim, about how to build, that maybe there was a trick in there that you were like, oh, you know what? I'm gonna use that in my own building. Um, or if not, and you just like, we're here to vibe, then bruh, just like vibe, man. Let's just vibe, let's vibe for day and night. Um, but gamers, I had a blast. So thank you so much for hanging out. I really appreciate it. Um, thank you to all the new follows. Thank you to all the friends. Thank you to all the lurkers. It was a, it was a great evening. It was a great evening. Um, if you like what you saw and you want to come back for the more cozy vibes, make sure you do drop us a follow so that way you never miss when we go live. If you want to hang out with the coolest people that you know, both on and off stream, get your booty in the Discord. Thanks, Jambo. Um, Lost my train of thought. Discord. Oh, uh, I also post the weekly schedule there, so that way you can stay on top of what's happening every week on streams. Um, tomorrow, chat room, tomorrow, same bat time, same bat channel, uh, we are going to debut City Skylines on our channel, on our channel here. Um, I have wanted to play City Skylines since I clicked go live the first time. Um, and I'm just, frankly, I'm in a very cozy mood this week. So we're just gonna build some very cozy cities in City Skylines and it's gonna be, it's gonna be fantastic. It's gonna be fantastic. Teddy, are you a fan of City Skylines? I feel like you would be. I feel like you absolutely are, would be a big fan of City Skylines. Um, I don't have much of the DLC and I don't have any mods installed. So it's gonna be a pretty, pretty base game, but I think we're gonna have fun with it. I think we're gonna have a great time with our city together. We'll, we'll come up with policy decisions and it's gonna be, it's gonna be great. It's gonna be great. Um, but gamers, that is what we are doing tomorrow. But for this evening, let's go and say hello to one of our friends. We're gonna, we're gonna say hello to one of our friends. Yes, we are gonna go say hi to one of our friends. You know her, you love her. We're gonna go say hi to Loverish. Um, Loverish is a fantastic, cozy, lovely human um, who is currently playing her first playthrough of Subnautica Day 3. So no spoilers, no backseating, but we do stand Loverish though. We do stand Loverish though. Um, so gamers, thank you so much for being here. I hope these were the vibes you were looking for as you continue off with your day, your night, whatever else you've got going on in the world. And gamers, I will see you tomorrow for City Skylines. And if not then, definitely in the next one. Goodbye.